Well, here's a look at the winter weather and sort of ironic that this go around we're looking at not so much cold temperatures, but warm temperatures. Look at this. All this heat building up across the West has our highs this afternoon compared to normal. Well above what we usually expect. Pretty normal temperatures here in the east and a little cooler than usual across the south. Boy, talk about warmth. We were setting records all over the place today. Los Angeles, the Civic Center, look at that, 89 degrees this afternoon. Sacramento at 81 degrees. I'm sure McKinley Park was quite full there with all those folks coming down to enjoy all the heat. Oakland, 77 degrees for the afternoon high, and the list goes on, including Billings, Montana and Pendleton, Oregon. What a fine, fine day. Here's what's happening. High pressure is in control, and with this ridge of high pressure, all the moisture is being diverted up and over the northwest. But in the meantime, the circulation around the high is in a clockwise motion, so Santa Ana's have been kind of strong here across Southern California, and they did not die down like we thought they would. That's great if you're going to get out and enjoy the sunshine, but not so great for some sports that were taking place today, and one of those being the Hot Air Balloon Festival going on in Los Lunas near Albuquerque. Actually, several balloons grounded today when the winds were gusting up to 25 to 30 miles per hour, and there were a few balloons that did get off the ground, but tomorrow looks like it could be a little bit better for getting the balloons up in the air. They are so beautiful, though, when they get up there. What a sight. Hopefully, we'll get some of the video tomorrow after they do get those balloons up. Across the southeast, we're seeing the front that's passing by and this is producing some rain around Chattanooga tonight and had some showers a bit earlier in Atlanta. A lot of that's moved over to the south now. And this ridge of high pressure that's situated over, or high itself situated over Texas, will encompass the entire southeast tomorrow because that front's going to move on out of the way. You'll see that in the forecast in a moment. Meanwhile, the front of this storm, right through here, this low, has kept things rather nasty across the northeast. We're starting to see that rain inch on over to the coast now. And back behind that, another low that will eventually catch up to this storm for another wet day right along the eastern seaboard. But not only are we seeing the rain, but we're certainly seeing some snow too. It's been snowing around Buffalo, Watertown, Jamestown, and Vermont getting plenty of snow. As you can see, well, not this particular one. I was going to show you the, the snow out of the Vermont area, but I tell you, it was pretty significant in some of those spots, picking up at least five inches. Well, here you see the potential for more snow. More tomorrow, not much left with this. One to three inches will be the rule here. Otherwise, let's get down to the nitty gritty as we start back to work. And what can you expect tomorrow? Well, a few more elements coming out of the sky. A little more rain for you and a little more snow too, particularly far to the north. And a few lingering showers around New York City, but you will see some sunshine in the Big Apple tomorrow. Pittsburgh will see sunshine too, but what is this? Well, this is that other little storm that will be dropping down to give us another little batch of moisture around Detroit for your Monday. Great conditions in the southeast. That front will zip on off the coast, leave us with a lot of sunshine in Nashville and Chattanooga and in Little Rock, Arkansas. Beautiful day for you at 75 for the afternoon high. Some more rain in West Texas, however. To the north we go with another pesky bout of rain in Chicago. 55, however, for your afternoon high. Just make sure you head off tomorrow with your umbrella. Take it along in the car so you don't get caught out in the wet weather. Otherwise, in the west, we're not going to see any major storms move in. Remember that ridge of high pressure is in place here. But we will have a little bit of moisture coming in west of the Cascades. Most of that will be in the form of rain, maybe a few flurries up in the Cascades. But, boy, is it going to be another beautiful day in L.A. tomorrow, up to 84 degrees. I don't think it's going to be quite as hot, though, as you had today, but a good possibility to set some more record highs. We'll take a look at the roadways coming up in just a moment. Winter is still with us, and so are dangerous drivers conditions. Before you take off, check in with the Weather Channel. No matter what time of day or night, the traveler's forecast will be coming right up.